On August 16th, they were 72 and 48. Three and a half games up. They've lost 15 of 19. No, I didn't want this, but yes, we have to do it. I try to hold back. I don't just throw concerned panic doom out there like willy-nilly every other day. No, 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 no. I try to show restraint, but they're out of playoff position. And Xavier, we'll start with you. Yeah. They have they got off to this hot start. We thought this can continue, but it did continue. And they showed organizational depth. They made deals at the trade deadline. They they got uh Montgomery, they got Scherzer, they got Chapman, they, they got Strat in the bullpen yeah. they added they thought we're just gilding the lily we're just right. going to be so stacked right they've lost 15 of 19 why yeah I think one of the big things you look at from an offensive standpoint this was one of the best offensive we offense we've seen in the game yep now over the past couple of weeks it's been one of the ones that has taken a straight downfall as far as productivity and also I look at Along with that, being coupled with that is what the relief core has done. They haven't done much as of late. You go get a guy, Oroldis Chapman, you put him in some tough situations since, as of recent, but since you talked about August 16th, you're talking about a bullpen that's been one of the worst in baseball. Oroldis Chapman himself, a seven ERA and above. So. I look at when you're not getting the offense that you had early on in the season, and we didn't know if that offense could sustain for a full year. Mm -hmm. And then now coupled with the bullpen issues, you see the 10 blown saves over the last 18 games. That's a problem for me. And we knew the relief core wasn't necessarily as strong as it should be, but they were blowing out teams early yeah, on. Yeah, you win by eight. You don't so, you don't, so you don't figure right. out what you get from so high are leverage you? situation. Are you concerned, panic, or doom? I'm, I'm, I'm panicking. I'm panicking Panic. for them. Yeah. I'm strongly concerned. But I don't know. I think there's still a backbone of a very good club here. I don't see this continuing. Do you? I think it's a very good club, but I'm on the doom. And this is why you're this dooming is, them. But I'm on I'm on the wow. doom that it has. Wow. It doesn't have anything to do with the Texas Rangers. I actually think when you look at Houston and you look at Seattle mm -hmm. and we can look at even the Blue Jays or even the Yankees in which when you start to look at strength and schedule and who they're going to play over the course of the rest of this season, I don't see them playing their best baseball. And when you get to this time of year, yes, they've hit their law, but they're going to have to get it turned around and play I don't know. really I don't good know. baseball. Hold on, hold on, I see. A's. They, like, thank you for putting the schedule up. He comes with his own material. A's. All right, Blue Jays. Guardians are not strong right it's now. It's not there. Red it's Sox not, are okay. It's Angels, again, Angels are shot. It's like, not there. Uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the seven games they have against Seattle, mm. and it's Boston sandwiched in between the Blue Jays as well. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's the fact that they're not playing their best baseball. Yeah. If they were playing their best baseball, they will have a chance to actually get into the postseason. But I don't see Houston or Seattle going anywhere. Look, I applaud someone when they go doom because it's easy to go, I'm mildly concerned. I'm mildly <laughs> concerned about everything. I'm mildly concerned about the drive home. But to say go to go doom, that's strong. I think it's a bit strong, but that's me.